Hey there folks, I'm Ruby Juice, and I want to show you how to use the Global Positioning System or GPS mod for Farming Simulator 19. This is by far one of my favorite mods for FS19 and it's a serious game changer and also very critical to know if you're going to be doing contracts on the FSN. So you see here, using GPS I'm able to skip over tracks and only go every second row down the field. I'm able to keep my tractor in a straight line and set the cruise control. Really it gives you a lot of different possibilities and it also makes you much more efficient because you're maximizing the width of the piece of equipment that you're using. I'm using the maximum width of the cedar and I won't be missing bits, I won't be overlapping it's absolutely the best way to make the most of your time. So most farm managers on the FSN will really value if you know how to use this mod because it means that you're being efficient with your time, their equipment, everything. So like I said, knowing how to use GPS is essential. So how do you use GPS, you ask? So let's start with the real basics. First things first, if you're buying your own equipment and you want it to have GPS, you need to make sure that when you purchase it or lease it, you choose for it to have the GPS system here in the shop. And no matter what the piece of equipment is, it's always going to cost you $15,000 to add GPS to it. So that's the very first step. Make sure your equipment has GPS by buying it in the shop. The next step is to turn the GPS on. So if you look at the right hand side of the screen you see a little satellite icon and a steering wheel icon. Now the satellite icon indicates whether or not the overall GPS system is turned on. So if I hit Alt C on my keyboard you see that I've turned it on. The satellite is now green and the steering wheel indicates whether you've activated the actual guidance steering system and locked in your steering to a certain line. So right now that's obviously deactivated. Now in order to tell the game which direction you want to go, where you want to lock in your direction, how you want to drive, all that, hit Control S to open the GPS menu. Now this might look like a lot of different information, but it's pretty simple to figure out. Enable guidance steering, that's turning on and off the actual aligning your tractor to the track that you have set. So if I turn that on, you see now the line in the middle here is green. The steering wheel on the right hand side of the screen is also green. So my tractor will stick to that green line in the middle. So we'll turn that off again for just a second. Show lines is whether or not the lines on the field here are actually shown to tell you where the track is that you're aligning to. So if you're new to GPS, you probably want to leave that on. If you're fairly experienced and you know how wide your equipment is and where the line is going to be, then you can probably leave that off if you'd like to keep things looking a little bit more realistic. Snap terrain angle is whether or not the track that you set, if it actually aligns to the angle of the terrain that you're working on. Offset reversal, I honestly don't know exactly what that is. I don't really use offsets generally. Uh, I'm not advanced enough, I guess, with GPS to use the offsets. But I imagine that it's if you have an offset set, then it'll switch around the other way when you turn around. Headland mode is whether or not the GPS will turn off once you get within a certain distance of the end of the field. I like to keep that off because I like to maintain manual control but you can turn it on and then your tractor will stop when it gets close to the end of the field. And the headland act distance is how many meters from the end of the field you want that to happen. The width here, so 15 meters is the width of my current implement. You can adjust that manually by pressing plus or minus. And this just changes how big of a magnitude you're changing that by. So you see now I'm changing it by 0.1. You can change it by up to 1. And then the easiest way to go about doing things is to use the auto width. So that sets it back to the 15 meters that my cedar has. The offset, like I say, I like to keep it at 0. 
So just press that arrow and it'll revert it back to zero and you can change the offset if you'd like. Now, if you change the offset, you'll see here that now there's actually a red line. So perhaps an offset might be handy if you are using a combining track, but you wanna be offset to the side a certain amount in order to be running the grain cart for that combine or something like that, then that might be helpful. But generally I find keep it at zero and that'll be good for most applications. So we've got the overall GPS system turned on, we have our lines turned on, we have our width set properly. Now we just need to tell the system which direction we wanna go. So here we go to this tab. The line strategy is always going to be A, B straight from point A to point B in a straight line. And you have two different line methods to choose from. You have A plus heading or you have A plus B. So we'll start with A plus B. This is probably the less precise of the two methods and I prefer to use A plus heading, but we'll start with this one anyways. So A plus B, there are two ways to do it. You can set A from here in the menu by just clicking that, or you can press Alt E on your keyboard. You see now that the track has gone back to just showing the direction that my tractor is facing. Now if I hit Alt E again, you see the little A there right in the middle of the orange part of the cedar. So that's point A. Now if I drive a certain distance, and I push Alt E again, I've now set point B. And you see here, my track is now set. It knows that I want it to go in the same direction that I drove from point A to point B. I want to keep that direction going all the way down the field. And now if I press Alt X on my keyboard, it locks in the steering to that line. I'll put my cedar down and we'll get off and running. And so we can head down the field that way. Now the other way to do it, if you want to do the A plus heading, is if you look by the little steering wheel in the right hand corner of the screen, you see it's got a number of degrees underneath it. So I'm facing pretty much directly north, which is either zero or 360 degrees. So if I go into the menu, I say A plus heading, I wanna set my A, and then my desired degrees is 360. You see here, it's set the track for me. I can hit Alt X again, turn on my cruise control, and I'm heading straight down the field once again. And that is the basic functions of GPS. Now, if you want to, you can save or edit tracks, and that is just a quick preset that you can load up again later. That's most handy when you have your own farm. So if I hit Control S, what I could do is I can put in a name like Seeding Field 92. And then I just press this little button with the lines and the plus. And you see here now, I've got Seeding Field 92 in the track list on the right hand side. So if you know you're gonna be doing a lot of one particular activity in one direction, so if I know I'm gonna be seeding north-south a lot, then I would just create myself a track that's seeding north-south. Then it'll remember the width of the seeder that the track goes north-south, and I can easily do that. And while I'm talking about that, there is one more feature that I forgot to mention that will be somewhat important for you to know. So if you have a track like this and it's just a little bit off and you need it to move over a little bit, you can just do that by pressing left alt and page up or down. So if I press left alt and page up, you see my track shifting to the left. If I press back on left alt and page down, you see it shift back to the right there. So if there was some sort of misalignment, you can easily fix it that way and you don't have to create a whole new track or do anything special. You can just go ahead and shift the track over a little bit and that will solve your problem right then and there. 
And that is everything you need to know about the GPS mod and how to use it. It's very handy when you're doing contracts, when you're working for other farm managers, all kinds of different applications. Overall, one of the best mods in the game as far as I'm concerned, and I don't think I could live without it. I hope that you found this helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.